Happy New Year, my beautiful friends. Can you believe we're in the year 2023? So what did you guys do to celebrate your New Year's? Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, we went over to my sister-in-law's and we had a blast, you guys. But I was a little disappointed because we didn't watch any of the Ryan Seacrest. I didn't see any of the Dolly Parton, Miley Cyrus thing. I was kind of bummed about that because the boys took over the TV and watched football. You guys, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. I always watched, you know, either Dick Clark or Ryan C Seacrest. So, yeah, the boys took over. But, you know, we were outnumbered. There was more boys than girls. So, uh, but we ended up playing charades and had a good time. Now, today, I went back and watched some of the Dolly Parton and Miley Cyrus. Um, and I'm kind of glad that I watched that on my own because I was bawling, you guys. It was just so emotional and moving. And someone had mentioned over on TikTok, you know, on one of the videos that they were showing, that it was almost like Dolly Parton had, you know, turned the crown over to Miley Cyrus. And I kind of got that impression too. You know, they both got a little teary eyed and the song choices that they picked. It was just amazing, you guys. I get choked up even thinking about it. It was so good. Did you guys see it? And what did you think? I, it was pretty amazing. And Miley, you know, she is so talented. And even though, you know, her career has been like this, you know, she went through a lot of crazy phases. She is a talented little girl, you know, very impressive, very strong voice. Both of them are just amazing. But today's just going to be a very laid back video, you guys. I am going to be applying some makeup, but I do just want to chat with you guys. We haven't done that in a long time. I want to talk about things that happened in 2022, things that I have plan for this year, but I'll get all into that, you guys. And then a few of you had asked what I got for Christmas, so I thought I would share that with you guys. So the very first thing is, uh, this is from my almost 10-year-old niece. You guys, she bought every single one of us a present. You know, she does a lot of chores. She does things to earn some money, and she bought all of us. I mean, all of us, which is a lot, you guys, something. And this is what she got me. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. She knows I love gnomes. And look at this, you guys. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I just thought that was so adorable. I'm putting it out. I, you know, this is so my vibe. I love, like I said, I love gnomes. So sweet of her. And she bought everybody, you know, relatively nice gifts. I was just like, you know, shocked. You know, that's a lot of money for a 10-year-old. She's just a very sweetheart. And then what Daryl got me, um, I'll just share that with you guys here. I got two pairs of, boot, of boots, and these are the first ones here. I just wanted like a pair of combat boots. And, you know, these do lace up, but they do have like a zipper on the side. And everything he got me was from Kohl's, I believe. And these ones are, let me see, you guys, I don't even know the names of these. Oh, these are Maiden Girls. So super cute, you guys. I've already wore them, and they're super comfortable. So they had some really good deals going on um, in Kohl's. So that's why I told him, I go, you know, here's some stuff that I want from Kohl's. And these are the second pair. Aren't these nice? These are really nice boots, you guys. And inside, you know, it's all like, has like this fur. This one is just their uh, Sonoma. So these are super nice and comfortable. Again, I've already wore both of the um, pairs of boots here. So he got me those. And then he also got me a new winter coat because that's what I asked for, you guys. My other one was so old. I think it was like three years old. Very similar. It looks almost identical. But, you know, it, it was starting to look really bad, you guys. So I got this one. It's like a puffer jacket and it's I would say about medium length um it's super warm and what's nice is you can take off the um hood on this and the brand is London Fog and again he got this through Kohl's and then what I wanted was a book you guys I had ran across this beautiful girl on TikTok and her story just really caught my attention and her name is Gabrielle Stone and the name of the book is Eat Pray and FML <laughs> you guys but her story just really grabbed my attention. And then if you look really closely, she is the daughter of someone. And I'm going to tell you who uh, her mother is. Her uh, her mother played the mother of Drew Barrymore in the movie E.T. So as you can see, you will probably see the similarities there. But I didn't know that at the time. But, you know, as I went, you know, scrolling through her page and really um, stalking her page, I found out more about her. But anyway, the, what grabbed my attention was her story. And what this is about um she was married to the, like the love of her life and after a while I don't know how long I haven't read any other book yet but um she found out he was having a six month affair with an 18 year old you guys you know how devastating that would be so I don't know you guys it just really
really caught my attention and it's just something I really wanted to read. Not that any of that I can relate to, but I just, I don't know. And then she went um, backpacking out by herself, like across um, Europe. So I just thought that was just, you know, really amazing. So I'm super excited to read this. So the kids got me these next few products. Uh, this here, the Holiday Lip Kit. This has seven lip products in here, you guys. Rare Beauty, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, NARS. I mean, you name it, it is in here. So I'm super excited to try these. And then they also got me uh, the Naughty Palette by Huda. And the reason why she did this, you guys, because she knew I had, I think, you know, I have the dupe palette. And after looking at these two side by side, um, you're going to see, I think they are a dupe, just as I suspected when I saw it, when I bought it. So this here is uh, the number seven. So take a look at uh, this palette here. And this is the Huda. So you guys, I'm super interested uh, to do a another side-by-side -side comparison with these two palettes. And then you guys, look what they got me. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know what I got. They got me Ellie Glines travel bags. Can you believe it, you guys? And they got me the new color. It is absolutely beautiful in person. You know, on camera, it does get muted slightly, but they are just absolutely stunning. So, you know, I got this and then they got me, um, when I open it up, you know, you have all of this storage and we actually have a trip planned um, in June. We're actually going to be going, I think it's June or July, we're going to be going to Arizona. Now, don't ask me why we're going to Arizona in that, you know, that weather, but there's a reason, uh, reason behind that. And I'll get into that more on a later date. So let me just put all this away and we're going to move into some makeup. And speaking of makeup, I actually wore the same eye look for New Year's that I created in that uh, last video, the New Year's video, but I actually liked it slightly better on New Year's. And I think when I went back into editing, I noticed some mistakes that were uh, made and I fixed them. But okay, you guys, let's get into this eye look and let's talk about things that happened in 2022. So I would say that uh, 2022 started off really strong for me. Um, I had just got monetized. Uh, things were going really well. Um, a lot of my TikTok videos were going really well, um, getting a lot of views, almost like viral. And so, yeah, that you know, that's how it started off. Um, we did story time, which I absolutely, you know, absolutely loved. I love doing story time. I wish I had, you know, stories to last us a lifetime. But um, yeah, I ran out and, you know, hopefully new things will come up and I will I'll always have a story, you guys. There's always something going on in my life. And I know how much you guys enjoyed story time as well. Okay, for the palette I'm going to use is this one by ColourPop. It's the uh, Not A Box of Chocolates. If you guys haven't seen that before, this is what it looks like. So it's just a very warm palette and neutral. So I thought, you know, just to keep things simple, that's where we're going to head today. Um, okay, so then we, you know, we planned the Vegas trip. We went to Vegas. That was such a great surprise uh, for my son. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about there, um, what we did was I didn't think we were going to be able to go. Um, you know, we just, things weren't in the cards, things weren't going great financially. So we surprised him and showed up in Vegas. And I do have a video on that if you guys are interested in watching that. And I'll link that somewhere up here. So that was another thing that happened in 2022. I actually got like my first uh, paying gig and it was uh, through Kosis. And, um, you know, it was very generous. And what they had done was they saw one of my TikToks and basically purchased it. And that was basically the only uh, paying gig I really got in 2022. I mean, I had a couple of very small ones that, you know, nothing to uh, brag about, but, you know, paying no less. Um, you know, I met a lot of new friends here. You know, I noticed some new subscribers coming in. And so that was just very exciting, you guys. When, the, when those things happen, it is, you know, you just get so excited when you see new faces or new names coming in. And, you know, so like I, like I said, 2022 just started off very strong. So like the first, I would say, I don't know, from January up until I started seeing like a downcline around March. And you guys, you know, I just, you know, kept blaming it on this, you know, that, you know, the economy. I, I don't know. And I still don't know. Um, what is going on, but 
my TikTok had totally just plummeted. Um, I don't know what happened there. I know things had changed uh, with the algorithm. Um, it just seemed like my Instagram is just creeping. And, you know, you start getting nervous. You start, you know, questioning yourself. You start, you know, doubting. Um, so, yeah, 2022, it just was very... Um, this for me, you know, it just started off strong. I had some great things just, you know, in my personal life happen, um, you know, that I was able to do, uh, do a couple things. And then there was just a lot of downsides too, you know, with, um, the economy, my husband's job was this, you know, all year round. So, and my job, we can't find help you guys. Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work. And yeah, it just it, very interesting year to say the least. Um, the menopause thing happened. Um, you guys remember that story time. Um, I went through a very uh, scary, dark time, it seemed like. And it lasted um, quite some time, but it's much better, much controlled. And I will tell you guys, I haven't had a cycle. I think my last cycle was June, I want to say, of 2021. So I am definitely, I guess what they would call post-menopause. Uh, so the mood swings have gotten a lot better. Um, my anxiety, though, has gone way up. And I'm going to make a little confession with you guys. And this is why I kind of want to talk to you. Um, filming has become very difficult for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on with me. And you guys have been doing this almost two years. So this should be almost second nature for me. And it's almost like I get anxiety. And <laughs> if you guys would even understand, um, I, I this is something I almost didn't even want to mention because, number one, it's embarrassing. And then I don't want you guys to have like a magnifying glass at all of my videos. So it's kind of, you know, that. but I think you guys know how I am. I share everything with you. Some of my videos lately, you guys, have taken... I don't know, hours, hours to do uh, between filming, the editing, all that. Um, it, it, I can't even I can't even put a time on it because it's just ridiculous. Filming sometimes have taken almost six hours. I had to take a lot of breaks. Um, I feel like I'm stumbling over my words. I don't know if my hearing's off again. So some of my S's sound weird. So when I hear that, I, I start, you know, stumbling. I stop. I come back. You know, I take breaks. It's just been a nightmare. And the other thing I do want to talk about, you guys, is um, I am no longer going to put pressure on myself in that. Um, so the most recent one, uh, I'm trying to remember which one it was. <laughs> the past few have been absolutely a nightmare. Uh, for sure, the blue eyeshadow one, that one took me forever to film. And then I got a nasty remark in one of the uh, comments and um, I ended up blocking her because she was just a, you guys, just a nasty person. Um, and if, you know, a few of you probably already know what I'm talking about. If you guys don't know, I don't even know if her comment's still there because I don't know if I block somebody, if the comments go away. But I think it gave me a complex. She really gave me a complex and I usually have very thick skin, but it just was just uncalled for and nasty, you know, and I shouldn't let those kind of people take, you know, I don't know, get to me like that, but it did. And so when I went into, I think it was the New Year's video, you guys, I was up all night again. The two videos that I was up all night with uh, were basically, you know, didn't do well. So for me to put myself through that, you know, put all that pressure on myself is just not cutting it anymore, you guys. It's not worth me staying up all night, making myself sick. And, you know, it's just, it's not good for my mental health. Okay, you guys, I just realized I wasn't even showing you what I was doing. Um, so this is what I used in the crease here. And then I used this on the outer corner and this shade just to really just lighten up this and blend that out. And that is the shimmer I used and that was in the inner corner. So that's what I thought I would just share with you guys. You know, when I started off this channel, um, it was, you know, an outlet for me, you know, but as I also told you guys, it was also for my future. Um, you know, at some point I did not want to, I wanted to retire from a uh, dental and, um, so this was going to be a supplement income. So 
even though I love it and I enjoy it and stuff like that, it also was, you know, like I said, to make uh, a little bit of money. Oh, sorry, you guys. <laughs> We're going to use the uh, Elf uh, Cookies and Dreams. So, you know, um, that's not the full focus of my channel, but as you guys know, I've said it before, you know, makeup is very expensive. Now, the thing is, um, I don't get free products like, you know, most of the um, influencers. I get a few here and there, sporadic, tons of skincare. I do not need any more skincare. Uh, if you're watching brands, I don't want your skincare. I'm over skincare. Um, I have enough. But yeah, so I don't get makeup, so I have to purchase all of my makeup. And that just becomes very, very expensive. And you guys, most of the makeup, you know, I, of course, even if I didn't do this, I was buying makeup. I'm one of those people that if I see something, you know, I want to try it. But I wouldn't be buying it as much um, as I do, you know, here. So I think another goal for me um, coming into 2023 with my channel is, you know, I really said it before, but I don't stick to it, is I'm not going to just go out and buy something because it's going viral. Because honestly, you guys, when I do that, my videos don't do any better uh, from doing that. So it's not worth me spending all that money for these products to just uh, sit in the drawer. Now, if it's something that I think, you know, will benefit my skin or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it, but I'm just adding rose water. You guys, I'm just moving along. Cause I, like I said, I just wanted to talk with you guys and let you know what the future of this sh uh, channel uh, holds at this point. And I'm just trying to explain, uh, <laughs> what's going on. So, you know, financially it's become almost a burden. Um, it's just very, you know, expensive for me to keep buying these products. Um, you guys, I'm actually going to try this. I had this a long time ago and um, I want to try it again because I can't remember why I got rid of it. It just seems so many people love it. It's the Wet n' Wild and I actually got mine in the Dewey. I got it in soft beige. I did test it out the other day and it looked kind of light, which is pretty surprising. Um, well, I don't know. Um, but maybe it will oxidize. Let's just try it, you guys. So I think what I'm going to do is actually place it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take my brush. I saw a um, makeup artist saying that this is a better way to do it. Is just kind of put it on the back of your hand and really rub it into the bristles. Okay, you guys, we're going to try it. She said it's a more even application. So, yeah, I'm just trying to explain the, you know, how this channel is going to work. Um... Again, you know, for my mental health, I can't keep doing this to myself, uh, staying up all hours of the night. And here's the thing, you guys, my um, partner in crime at work, um, my right-hand man is actually going to be out of work for uh, six, possibly longer, eight, eight, 12 weeks. I don't know yet. Uh, she has to have surgery and uh, that means I'm going to have to pick up more hours. I'm going to have to stay later um, and that's going to take up more time. So here's what's going to happen. I'm only going to be able to film when I can film. Um, so I might not be able to put out the two videos that I'm, you know, want to do every week. Um, but you guys, again, I can't keep doing this to myself and putting all this pressure on myself. And, you know, I don't want to not like what I'm doing. And that was almost what was, be, you know, happening. It was like I had come to a, um, a wall and it was it was awful because I was like I love you guys so much and then right when I think okay maybe this is the end of my road here um one of you guys will come back with an amazing comment and I will tell you right then and there it's like you guys read my mind it's the weirdest thing it's like right in that moment when I start doubting myself doubt you know doubting the channel uh doubting just everything one of you guys will come in and say a comment and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. This is why I do this. This is the main reason. If it wasn't for, um, you know, financial burdens of buying all this makeup, um, I probably, you know, <laughs> it, it wouldn't even matter because you guys are so amazing. Like, I wish I could do this full time. Didn't have to worry about money. Didn't have to worry about buying products. 
and just sit here and make videos for you guys, you know, where we, you know, could chat and stuff like that. But like I said, you know, I do have to, unfortunately in my family, I have to bring in money too. Um, you know, Daryl does his best and, you know, I think, Ooh, this is really pretty. Um, Hmm. Why did I stop? using this i'm watching the babies you guys the kids are out of town so if you hear dogs that is daisy and oliver <laughs> they are here and they are yippers so yeah you guys if i didn't have to work if i didn't have to bring in the income to our household um things would be much different but i do and i really have to put all this in consideration um i just see that the channel the numbers are growing um as in um subscribers which thank you so much you guys but it's i need to know what i'm doing wrong i guess is what i'm asking you because the videos i'm putting out have very low numbers and here's another thing you guys i don't know what has happened with um youtube with how they pay you know being uh monetized but like I would say the past few videos, I haven't even made $3. You guys, not even $3 and all that. That's what I'm trying to say. Like all this time that I'm putting into these videos, $3. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that is bad. That is really, really bad, you guys. Where before it was a whole five or six, but now it's getting worse and worse. Okay, did I not bring on concealer? Oh, no, I did. <laughs> and I'm going to try this one again. Um, and it's the NYX Bear With Me. I know how many people absolutely love this. So what I think I'm going to do is just place a little bit of a rosehip oil under my eyes. Because for some reason, you guys, on my eyes, it's a little drying. And my eyes, no, you guys know my under eyes are like the Sahara Desert. So I'm just going to place very little rosehip. So I'm just going to place a little bit on the back of my hand. And I think what I'm going to do is try to apply it the same way as I'm doing my foundation. I'm just going to kind of really rub this into the bristles. And I'm still going to start lower like I've been doing. So I want you guys to understand there is absolutely... You guys are doing everything i know you are because you're here every week um the, you know you know who you are um i know who you are we talk all the time you guys are liking you guys are engaging you're doing everything possible for me to grow and you guys you know tell me that all the time you want you want that for me and that means so much to me and i wished that it meant you know where i didn't have to worry about finances but unfortunately i do okay now that rose hip really helped um with that situation usually i will put this on and it starts looking almost like scaly there and that really did help so i've been meaning to talk to you guys about this for quite some time and just you know was thinking of the right time to say something and you know what's a better time than you know going into uh 2023 with just you know keeping you know the luggage in 2022 and just kind of trying to move forward and which direction i'm going to go in 2023 now like you know there was times when i thought okay you know maybe i just am not meant to do this or you guys know my doubts and I, I can't, I can't give it up uh, completely. And I'm going to use this as my bronzer. I've been using this uh, lately. It's the LYS. And I got mine in the shade Harmony. And it is so pretty. Look how cool that applicator is. What I have come up with uh, for my future on this platform and all platforms really is I'm just going to uh, put up videos when I can, I'm not going to pressure myself, like I said. Um, goals personally for myself. Oh, the kids got me this, you guys. I forgot because it's in my little um, <laughs> class here. Um, and it's the Ben and Rose. And this is the uh, C40. So this is their bronzing one. And it is so nice. It's good for powders and creams, as you guys will see. 
Okay, so personal goals for myself is not to put so much pressure on myself. Um, you know, if things aren't going well, I'm just going to uh, stop and <laughs> uh, take a step back and, you know, try it again um, a few days later and just go from there, you guys. I'm just going to take things a day at a time. Um, and then, like personal goals, like personal, personal goals is, you guys, I cannot take this weight any longer. I am going to do something about it and I'm not calling it resolutions because um, I don't, you know, I don't want to fail. So if I put that pressure on myself and I just call it a goal, you know, if it succeeds, great. If it fails, well, it failed. Um, this way, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on that. So my goal is to take off some of this weight and eat healthier and work out. I really want to go back into working out. Not that I enjoy working out, but I feel better when I work out. I feel like I have more energy. I feel just better about myself, um, you know, just health wise, you know, I can go up a flight of stairs without, you know, gasping for air. So I definitely need to exercise. Okay, so that looks really good. Okay, you guys, you know what I forgot to do was eyeliner. I thought things were looking a little strange. And I do want to show you something really quick. I did find this out the other day. And I'm going to do my um, eyes, you know, two different ways. So I'm just going to place a little bit of tape. And what I love about this tape is it's not going to interfere with the makeup too much. So what I'm going to use here is my uh, Color Pop, and this is the BFF. And any liquid liner will do. But with the tape, what I found the other day is I just started, you know, anywhere. You can start as far out as you want. And I'm just going to do a little wing here, you guys. That was going out way too far. And I just went across like that. And just filled in the spaces here. And it almost created like that bat wing because I'm looking straight forward and let's see if it works today you guys so I'm just going to remove this tape and look at the perfect little wing that just created and it's just so much easier to use that tape so if you're struggling with a wing definitely um put tape on and as you can see even you know with my eyes uh at rest you can still see me on wing when I try to do it free-handed it kind of goes away because of the hood, but yeah, you guys just try tape. I, I just find that is a lot easier, but also too with a, um, if you're trying to create like a little wing is use like a wider, um, felt tip here. And I'm going to show you why. So again, I'm just going to, I'm going to do it to where you guys can possibly see is if you start with it on the outside and because it's wider, it just creates, do you guys see what just happened? How it created that wing all by itself. It just create a little bit of a more pointy edge there. But as you can, I mean, so I'm just finding that using either a very wide felt tip or tape is much easier for a wing. Okay, and then for uh, my powder, I'm just going to use a Wet n Wild here, this Photo Focus. I have been loving that. So, you guys, that is my plan um, for my goals. Uh, the, the goals I'm setting for myself, I'm not going to, you know, apply too much pressure. I think um, I'm not going to try to worry about the numbers anymore. I know I always say that, but this time I'm really I'm going to set that as a goal because if I don't worry about the numbers, I'm not going to put the pressure on myself to get these videos out at a certain time. So unfortunately, you, unfortunately, you guys, I can't commit myself to every Monday or Thursday. But I'm going to, you know, post something as much as possible. Maybe I'll put more shorts over here. Um, unfortunately, I think that's where the future is going as shorts anyway. Um, and, you know, they are monetizing those a little bit. So and those are really quick. You know, I can put something out very quickly. Um, so you guys, you know, please stick with me. That's all I can ask is please stick with me. You know, it might take five years for me to get there, but you know, hopefully one day I will have the luxury of being able to, you know, quit my job or retire from my job 
and be able to do this full time. And, and that's all my dreams have always been is just to be able to, you know, to do this and have the freedom uh, to move if I need to move. Um, just everything, you guys. But all I ask is please be patient with me and stick by my side as, you know, like you have been this, these past two years. And if you're new, uh, please don't leave me now. <laughs> I will be here and I'm usually super um, uplifting and stuff like that. And, you know, this every once in a while, I have to just touch base of what's happening because I, I want to be, you know, honest with each and every one of you, you know, whether you're new or been here uh, for many years. But um, yeah, that is the plan, you guys. And what do you think? Your guys' advice for me is always so important and helpful. You guys always have the best, you know, ideas, advice, everything. You know, you guys are very smart. You all could probably, well, you definitely could all have your own channel. Okay, you guys. So I think that is looking a pretty good. Let's just uh, put on, let's see. I don't even know where I'm at in my makeup situation here. Let, I'm just going to go back into this, apply some on the lower lash line and do my lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so I just applied some shadow on the lower lash line. And then for my lashes, I used the ColourPop Level Up. This is actually really nice, you guys. It actually adds a lot of volume and length, as you can see. So I've been really enjoying this. And then I think for my setting spray, I'm going to use this. I haven't used this forever. And it's the NYX, and it's the Bear With Me a Prime Set and Refresh. It's their 8-hour. So let's see how this feels. Ooh. That is a really... Nice mister on that. It's not aggressive at all. Oops, almost dropped that. And I think I am going to add a little bit of highlight. And today I'm going to use this. I haven't used this in a hot minute. And it's my e.l.f. and it's their six pan um highlighter. So you get six different choices. And I think I'm actually going to use this little deeper shade here. So let's see if that's a good choice. So yeah, you guys. Um, yeah, again, you know, I just really hope that you guys do stay by my side and understand you know the position that i'm in um and again i just wish things were much different but as of right now that's what i have um planned for myself and the channel and uh, for this new year or this 2023 year okay to line my lips i think i'm going to use my catrice plumping lip liner and these are so nice they're nice and creamy and i love the shade which is cheers to life so enough about me, you guys. How about you? What goals or resolutions do you guys have set uh, for 2023? I would love to know, you know, what your plans are. So yeah, these are such nice lip liners. And there is like a slight plumping sensation. I would imagine I would get more of that um, if I applied it to the full lip. But I do feel like a little bit of almost like a minty uh, feeling. Okay, and, and the lipstick that I brought down is by Milani, and this is in the shade I Am Pretty. So it looks like that. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to go, you guys. Upstairs, it really looked like it was going to go, but mm, we will see. Yeah, this is more like a very nude shade, which is, you know, this is a pink nude, but this is definitely like a more neutral nude, but... I don't know, you guys. We made it work. It's okay. I, I wouldn't choose those two together. All right, you guys. That is it. Again, thank you so much for everything you've done for me, uh, especially in 2022. Uh, if you're new, you know, thank you so much for uh, taking a chance and clicking on the videos that I do put out. And hopefully you guys will stay by my side again through 2023. And you guys, I do have a lot of plans for this year. And I promise I will be uh, putting out a video, at least one video every week for sure. I promise you that. And if you could help me out, by hitting that like button. I would really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Happy New Year and until next time.